Hello, this is Lover of Ladies, and welcome to my channel. On this episode, I'm going to be playing Detroit Become Human. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Driving in the snow? <laughs> my car would never, by how bald the tiles are. First of all, how the hell did they even manage to get a car in the first place? Huh, okay. That layout was pretty nice, actually. So it's 30 degrees, which is cold to some people, to me, that I'm actually chilling. I usually start getting cold when it's like towards the negatives, but. It's a good thing Zlatko had a car. I wouldn't want Alice out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zako even ever used it. That makes sense. So we got... What is this? The AX-400 android reported to have attacked its owner in a Detroit suburb is still at large. Police appeared to lose its trail after a close encounter with investigators. The android's description has been shared with all local law enforcement and the investigation is ongoing. The Arctic conflict is as... Okay, anyways. Detroit's heavy snowfall is expected to continue throughout the night. The forecast is 22 degrees, far below seasonal averages. And this cold front is likely to persist over the coming days up until Monday evening. Hmm, okay. So... These people we're going to see, how do you know about them? Overheard androids not go captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? Mm, I know. PTSD is real. All I know is those androids believed it. Until Slacko killed them. Wow, that's extreme. Fuck Slacko. He's a he's an ass for that. Malfunction detected. What? Hey yo, what the hell's going on? Oh damn. This sucks. We're stranded out in the cold. Shrivel. Stay inside, Alice. Anyways, let's see what's going on. I'm not a mechanic, but it looks like the car is messed up. Hey, yo. Shit's steaming. The engine must have over overheated what are we going to do uh I don't know, I don't know. continue on foot I guess and this Stand damn go home we have to find somewhere to spend the night there's nowhere we can stay around here Carol. damn we're in the middle of the boondocks at this point okay so how about this I can look around see where possibly I mean I see a sign over there so maybe conveniently because you know something's th here something's here an amusement park how convenient thank the lords over there I'm expecting Jason Voorhees to just pop out and murder us all. But then again, we're not in Crystal Lake, so we're Gucci. I don't know, this place gives me the creeps already. Oh we my need to god. Find okay, we to damn. Okay, girl, you don't no need to scream that loud. Oh lord. Alright, let me see. Let me see what we're looking at here. Ooh, roller coaster. Alright, so I see that there is a tavern that we can possibly go to. Yeah, the tavern. We could go there. Alright, let's go. 
I swear, God, if there's any jump scares in here, I'ma just swing. I'll swing the air at this point. Wow, this place is... I mean, it's been a while since we've been to an amusement park. Hey, yo, this is some Resident Evil shit! Oh my god! Hey, yo! No way! Oh my god! And this mu- This place is falling apart! Yeah, just like my life. It's not gonna be easy to find shelter! Okay, Luther. Can you stop being such a negative Nancy, you little prick? We'll find something. I saw in the map. Is this the tavern? I can't even see for shit. Okay. Oh my god, please don't let it be a jump scare, I swear to god. Okay, it looks promising. Let's go. What? I'll handle this. Oh, okay. All right. Go ahead, big boy. Damn, okay. Less work for me, shit. And the party don't start till I walk in. This the sound effects is not I helping. Find anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. Good. Alright, so Alice is just chilled out. Perfect. I just need to find something at least. What's that? Pirate flag. I'll make the fire here. Okay, bet. Be Say no more. Alice, you good, honey? What's that? Perfect. There you go. Alice? Hey, kid. I'm not gonna open that. Anyways. I can't even see for shit. Huh. Is that RA9? Yeah, it is! It's RA9! Which means... We're not alone. Some ro robot was here. Well, I won't. I wouldn't say robot. I would say android. Some android was in here. It makes sense. But anyways, let me check on Alice. What happened? Talk to me. Oh, the family photo. Do you think we'll be like them someday? I don't know how to be like them, Alice. Damn. I've never been a part of a family. Damn! Maybe we can be our own family. Good. Be happy in our own way. I like that. I like that. Good job. You saved yourself at the end. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. Oh, Bendito. I love you. Let's my you little bed. my little punk. You're my little punk, you know that? I love that. That's so cute. All right. Let's go to sleep. Adore me. Adore me. Mhm. Mm sleep tight, Alice. Ah, uh, Dora me. Ah, uh, look at that. She she feels safe now. Can I can you tell. Can you tell me a story, Kara? 
Girl, I got mad stories to tell. I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. Damn! Okay. Uh, the princess. Let's go. This is a story about a princess who... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. Oh, okay, I'll wing it. This is a story about a little girl. Who was tired of being afraid. Mm -hmm. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but... The shadow that lived within her kept her from being happy. Damn, this is gonna be hella metaphorical. she met a robot. Who wasn't very happy either. So they decided to run away together. a place where they could be safe. They encountered great dangers along the way, but but they stuck together. So they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met. <laughs> another robot who left his master to travel with them. How does the story end? Hmm. I don't know. But all stories have morals. When we reach the end of ours, we'll know what it really meant. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say goodnight, loser? <laughs> Yes. Oh, Luther. Yes, of course. That is so cute. See, she likes both of us. I can Night tell. Alice. Sleep tight. See, she's safe. <laughs> hey yo, that is so cute. I love it. So, what's up with you, buddy? Are you okay? She's a sweet girl. She is? Yes. She's very brave. Have you ever heard of RA9? RA9 was the first of us to awaken. One day he will rise up and lead our people and set us all free. Hmm. What if RA9 never comes? What if he's just a story that we tell ourselves to keep each other going? RA9 exists. I believe in him. I know he's amongst us. When the time comes, we will all see him. Kara. Yeah? Have you ever noticed anything? With what? About Alice? What do you mean? No. What do you mean? Oh, shit. Who the hell is that? <laughs> hey, yo. Oh, my God. What the hell, yo? I knew there was gonna be some Resident Evil shit going on. Oh my god, bro. Oh hell no. No, I'm gonna protect her. Come here. Hell no. Yo. Who are you? Who are you? What do you want? Leave us alone! Don't be afraid. We don't wanna hurt you. Don't be afraid! You just Slide busted you. through the windows! Our name is Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. Oh, okay. What are you doing here? Uh, we're we just camping. For, for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. Hmm. Okay. She looks sad. Huh. 
bitch. The you... last few days have been difficult. Yeah. Well, you have I mean, to show her something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in. Oh, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Hi, idea. Tara. Yo, you. Bro. I don't think you have any choice. Oh my God. Okay, whatever. You know what? Let's go. We'll sleep later, I guess. Y'all just busted through the f fucking doors just so y'all can show us stuff. Okay, this better be really good. Like, this better be worth that we scare. Guessed. Okay. Hey, yo. Huh. Interesting. Oh! <gasps> A carousel. The this is can climb on board. dope. The carousel is about to begin. Okay, bet. It's gonna be really cold though, but let's go. Come on. Up, upsy daisy. Let's see. I mean, you're alone in a park with a bunch of androids, but you know what? It's a cute moment. I ain't gonna- I ain't gonna front. I like this. It's the first time I've seen her smile. Yeah, she's happy, she bro. She hasn't had much to smile about lately. Wow, look at Jerry, he's happy. I mean... This is nice. It's a nice change for once. What's going on with Hank, bro? Like... How long has been- how long has he been out there? God, meant the view is beautiful, though. Holy cow. But why is it in the code, bro? Like, what's wrong? Nice view, huh? Yeah. I used to come here a lot before. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why can't you just ask the question instead of asking Do if you can ask the question? Do ask so many personal questions? Or is it just you? <laughs> Why are you so determined to kill yourself? Damn. Some things I just can't forget. You went straight to the point. They're always there. Eating away at me. I don't have the guts to pull the trigger, so I kill myself a little every day. That's probably difficult for you to understand, huh, Connor? Nothing very rational about it. Before what? Hmm? You said. I used to come here a lot before. Mm -hmm. Before what? Before. Time to open up the wounds, Hank. Before nothing. Come on, Hank. You can't keep holding it in, bro. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA9. Okay. Yeah, it's almost I know. like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. 
Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. Yeah, I know they I really noticed that. In love. In love. Yeah, exactly. They can simulate human emotions, but they're machines. And machines don't feel anything. You keep telling yourself you, that, Connor. Because those two androids actually felt something, bro. You look human. You sound human. But what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner? Your buddy to drink with? Or just a machine? Designed to accomplish a task. You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot, Connor? Why are you being aggressive, Some scruple bro? suddenly enter into your program? No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. Yeah, bro. Really? But are you afraid to die, Connor? You can't kill me, Lieutenant. I'm not alive. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Then a new one wouldn't come, hmm. right? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved trauma in your past? You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smart ass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. You're shaking, bro. Where are you going? Get drunker. I need to think. That shit was pretty intense. I know Jericho is salty about the first mission being failed, but I'm gonna try again. In all honestly, that's the only thing I can do at this point. Just try again and keep going. I know she hates me. We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. Say something. What do you want to do? Okay, she's giving me another chance. Whew. Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Oh yeah, and the suit look on point. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Okay. I'm gonna make sure this shit goes very well, because I ain't about to screw it up again. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Okay, so I gotta distract. Uh, 
Okay, smartwatch. Her name's Elizabeth. I see a picture of her little kid. And... Parking. Water service interruption. Huh. I know what to do. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Uh, school. This is Safe Road School, ma'am. Your daughter Emily has a fever. It's nothing serious, but I think you better come and pick her up. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. I'll be right there. Good. Bingo. Anyways. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Y uh, yes, yes, of course. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I need your help. Come on, let me through. I've just checked your ID. Mm -hmm. The elevators are after the security gate. Thank you, honey. Thanks. Appreciate you. Wow, that is so awesome. Alright, let's go to the elevator. Oh, Twister. Oh, that's sad news. Anyways, elevator, let's go. Okay, which one should I take? Oh, this one. Yeah, let's go. This elevator is hella fancy. Oh, okay. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Wow, even the bathroom is fancy. Hey, yo, what the hell? Okay, so I assume this is where I get my stuff. Yeah! Got the goods. Nice! I look hella cute in this suit. Okay. I gotta admit though, that outfit is on point. Okay, so what do I do? Serve room. Find your utility, utility android. Okay. I need your help. Thank you. Okay, say no more. I love stealing. Open fire escape. Okay. Good. Okay, so I'm going to end the episode right here. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies. Stay safe, take care, and I'll see you on the next episode.